Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim from timscomputerfix.net again with another Along for the Ride video here for you. In this video, I have a customer that brought in this Fantex Enthu Pro Full Tower Case. Now what she wants to do here is upgrade her current machine. She brought some new parts, plus she wants me to use some of her old parts. I'll show you all those parts here in a minute, but let me just introduce and show you this Fantex case that she chose. Please keep in mind that she chose all the parts. She chose the case and everything else. I had nothing to do with ordering or recommending any of it. So if any of it's not compatible or doesn't work well with each other, it's not on me. She's just paying me to actually do the work. So that's yeah, fine with me. So yeah, it's a nice case. It's white. I guess she likes white, so no problem there. Door swings open. It's got a nice window on it here so you can see all your components. It's got another side window here. I'm not really sure what that's going to show in the case because as you can see, there's nothing there. Unless that lights up. It doesn't though. It might. Don't know. Yeah, this case comes with, uh, looks like one, what is this, a 180 millimeter fan here, I think. And then it comes with, I think it's a 300 millimeter fan on the front. Large fan for intake. You know, medium-sized fan for exhaust. There's no other fans on this case. There are places to mount more fans. She didn't include any more fans with the parts that she gave me to use. But down here, this also has the quite common in a lot of cases today, a, a cover that kind of covers up that power supply with places to route your, your cables and such uh, to kind of hide or disguise that. Big, nice looking case. Um, there's an accessory box here. We'll open that up in a bit and we'll show you what, what that's all about. It's got some drive bays here in the front. Drive bays up here. And it looks like it's got two USB 3s and two USB 2s with a headphone and microphone jack and a reset button. And the power button is on the top. So that's what we're going to be using. Let me show you the parts that she chose to put in this computer. Power supply. She chose to go with the EVGA NEX 750G power supply. I think that's a gold rated power supply. Um, I don't think that's a bad idea seeing how she decided to go with the Radeon R9380, the Sapphire Nitro Edition, the ASRock Z77 Extreme 4 motherboard here, Tom's Hardware 2012, of course that's from 2012. Let me show you the processor that she wants to use with this. And let's swing over and have a look at this. <laughs> this is her old gaming rig. Some, it's an it's a Asus branded computer itself. But the processor she wants to use is under this heat sink. What kind of processor is it? I don't know. She claims that she knows, or the research that she's done, that Z77 is going to be compatible with it. But she wants me to use this heatsink fan and the processor that's under there with that Z77 motherboard. And she also wants to use this, reuse this Western Digital Blue hard drive. I will test that before I put it in. That's where we're going to get started. We're going to get all these parts unpacked and we're going to get this... Uh, this is her upgrade. This is what she wants me to do. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, keep in mind everyone that I did tell her that she, I would highly recommend a, a something other than a stock heat sink, but she did not want to go down that road. So I'm just going to give her what she wants. I'm going to go ahead and just, this is kind of yucky here. I didn't blow it out or nothing. I'm just looking to get this heat sink off of here. So, so let's just go ahead these pins out here. Here we go. 
Oh, look at that one. That one wasn't even on there all the way. Ooh. Not good, not good, not good. It sure wasn't. Here's your thermal compound. CPU fan wheel. We'll just remove it nice and gently. Clean this off here. We'll see what type of processor it is, huh? So what we have here, I don't know if you can see, this is a i5-3470, 3.2 gigahertz. This is an Ivy Bridge processor, 1155 socket. So she did good. She got the Z77 motherboard, which is an 1155 socket. So she knows what she's doing. We'll clean this up a little better before we actually go to put it into that motherboard. But we can take out her hard drive here. Ah, oh, one terabyte blue, Western Digital. So this is the memory she was using here. Three sticks of RAM, this is crucial. Two gig sticks, DDR3. Better hope that this is going to be compatible with that new motherboard. We'll go ahead and pull those out here. She's done her homework, she says she's done her homework. Out here, Let's see what brand this one is. So we got two Samsungs and one crucial. Okay, what we're setting up for right now though, is just to do the out of the box, what I call the out of the box boot. We're going to put the processor in. We're going to put the memory in. We're going to temporarily put the video card here and using her power supply. And we're going to be sure that the compute, this motherboard boots up and has video before we proceed to put everything in the case. The Going to try two of the sticks of RAM that she wanted to try to use from her old machine. Hopefully, um, if there's something that's going to go wrong, I would think it would be the memory since um, I don't know if it's compatible with this board or not. Um, but she says she's done her research, so we should be good there. I've got the everything plugged in, CPU, 24 pin. VGA and I have a dummy monitor here. This is my test monitor. So everything's plugged in. So for the first time, well, you know what? I need a mouse and keyboard. Okay, we now have mouse, mouse, keyboard, ready to roll. Power is on on the power supply here. Everything is ready to rock. So we're just going to test this guy, maybe get into the BIOS, have a look at some temps, make sure everything looks good there. All right, here's the power button here. So let's just hit the power button. It's good. Everything spins up. Fans. Usually the uh, video cars today won't won't spin their fans up until uh. Uh oh. oh okay. Trying to do something here. Looking like we're trying to get some video going. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Nope. Ah. Uh, boot looping. Willing to bet it's the memory. Willing to bet. Okay, basically what I've done is I have pulled a stick of RAM. Got one stick and the slot closest to the CPU. Let's give it some power here and let's see see what happens here. See if anything different happens. Got power. Video. You're stuck at 86 now. It was 55. The motherboard stays on. No video. Stuck at A6. She's got another stick of RAM over here. Let me see. This would be this. She's got one stick. So she's got two of these, right? The Samsung. She's got two sticks of those, which we tried. Not working. Here's Crucial. She's got a stick of Crucial. I'm willing to bet this probably wouldn't work either. But we're going to try this RAM and see. These are pretty inexpensive, you know, cheap looking RAM sticks here. So 
they're not high performance anyway so let's pull the power yeah, pop that in. click 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 okay that's in there all right let's give it some power and let's press the power button and see what we get video is trying to start 99 a2 a6 and we're stuck back at A6 again. I haven't ruled out a motherboard problem, but I'm, I'm still, everything's pointing to this memory. This is some pretty pretty cheap looking sticks of RAM here. So uh, what, I, what I'm gonna do is uh, do a little research and I'll uh, get back with you guys and tell you what I find out. There was a knock on my door this morning and what was brought to me was the proper RAM for this board recommended and also on my recommendation a better heat sink well I can't see this we'll show you that's a Noctua Noctua NHU9S so a Noctua um, cooler so we won't have to be using that stock cooler there so we're going to go ahead and install now our memory modules Okay, so everything's plugged in, ready to roll. Our new memories in here, everything else. So let's go ahead and power on the power supply. Let's go ahead and power on the motherboard, and let's let's hope we get a post here. Continue. We'll go F two. Ah, and there we go. 